I cannot remember the books I've read any more than the meals I have eaten. Even so, they have made me. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Knowledge. Probably one of the most fundamental things you can do for your self-actualization is to get your nutrition right. What you put in your mouth directly impacts how you're going to feel, perform and who you will become. Food is fuel that your body needs to carry out almost every physiological process. If you put garbage into a sports car, do you expect it to run as optimally as if you had used quality jet fuel? No. High performance requires high fuel sources. This reflects in Maslow's hierarchy of needs as well. At the top of the pyramid there is self-actualization, and at the bottom you have the organism's most basic needs, turning calories into babies. To get to the top, you have to start from the bottom. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Back in our caveman days, people couldn't start actualizing themselves through art or literature because they were so caught up with the basics. In today's world, we can circumvent that. You don't have to be a ripped as fuck hunter with a six pack and spear to eat meat. You don't have to chase game for hours, sprint hills, kill it, and then drag it back to the camp. No, you can just go to a supermarket, sit on a wheelchair, and get your alpha male meat that way. You don't even have to leave the house anymore. It's an evolutionary mismatch between our physiology and environment, which has major consequences on one's health. Health is the soul that animates all the enjoyments of life, which fade away and are tasteless without it. Lucius Aeneas Seneca I've seen way too many people who take their health for granted. They eat whatever they can find like scavengers and ignore the warning signs of disease that show all over their bodies. Then they wonder, why am I sick? How come I can't lose weight? What caused this to happen? What indeed? What's even more bizarre about this is that some of them are self-actualizing people. They're incredibly creative and inspiring, yet they have one problem. They're obese. Not because of their genes, but because of their bad habits. I don't want to call out any names, but... George R. R. Martin, the author of the Game of Thrones books. Come on, man. You created this amazing book series, are balling in life, but you still choose to trade indulging in food over living an even more successful life for longer. I would imagine if he lost his weight and got fit, he would expand his lifespan by at least a decade or two. But at the moment, Westeros is bound to have a successor. There is one consolation in being sick, and that is the possibility that you may recover to a better state than you were ever in before. Henry David Thoreau what you can and must do is practice some foresight and realize that what you're doing today has a huge impact on tomorrow. Stop sacrificing long-term abundance, that life of greater fulfillment and bliss, for the immediate gratification, the momentary pleasure of an endorphin rush. Always start from the bottom and focus on your health instead of taking it for granted. Started from the bottom, now my whole team fucking here Start Thanks Drake. If you do, then your progress in becoming a self-actualized person will be that much better. Yo yo yo, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to Isaac's channel and check out my own channel as well. My chickens salute you Isaac. I'll see you next time.